What's going on guys, Major League Shooter here. Today I have another video for you guys and this one in particular is going to be the installation of the uh, competition springs set by Zeph Technologies for the Glock 34. And while I'm in there I might as well just knock this out as well, the connector, since I do have a, a the connector spring that I have to replace, I might as well just replace the connector while I'm in there. So uh, the reason why I wanted uh, to replace the connector specifically is because it's going to allow me to get a lighter trigger pull on the trigger itself so it would go about from a 4.5 to about a 3 3.5 pound trigger i don't have any way to test it i don't have any of that good stuff uh to test it but uh, i'm just gonna trust on what they say uh, i think they said it was like 3.5 i believe possibly three one of those two uh trigger and the the um spring set which consists of the striker spring the connector spring and the uh, safety plunger spring. The only thing that concerns me about the spring set is the actual striker spring, mainly because since it is lighter, it's gonna make the striker move slower through uh, in the pistol, possibly making what's called light primer strikes. Now there is a way to combat that, and that's basically just by getting a lighter striker because since it's lighter, it'll move faster. Um, but uh, I don't have one. Not yet. I will buy one and I will upgrade. Hopefully with this spring set, um, I don't have light primer strikes. If you guys have ever had any experience with this, let me know what you guys think. Uh, if, if it's going to have any malfunctions as far as light primer strikes or anything like that, let me know. Uh, I'm interested just so I can know how fast I need to get that the uh, striker itself. So with that being said, let's go over to the table and we will install this right now. So, as you guys can see here, I have the Glock 34, and the only real thing you're going to need uh, is something to capture all the pins and a Glock tool. Um, this is one of the good things I like about Glock is the fact that you can take the entire firearm apart with just this and a front sight tool, which is what, the, what I have right here. Um, but I won't need the front sight tool. All I need is the Glock tool. Um, but as you can see, I have the Zev Technologies. This is the uh, race. I mean the competition spring set which consists of the striker spring, the connector spring, and this little tiny one which basically goes onto your safety plunger. Okay, and alongside that obviously I have the uh, Zev Technologies connector which is the uh, V4 race connector. Uh, I think it's really nice if you, if you ask me. So that's pretty cool. So the first thing we want to do is make sure that the firearm is safe to handle. It's clear as you can see. So now I'm just going to bring uh, ride the slide forward. Pull the trigger in a safe direction and uh, take the firearm apart. Okay, for right now we don't need. Uh, actually, you know what? We'll start. We'll start with the um, with the slide. I'm just gonna go ahead and completely disassemble this firearm. Okay, to install the striker spring, this one right here, you're gonna have to get into the firearm. So uh, right under the striker, that's this little lug right here. There's this little area right here and you just want to put your tool in there push down so that you can remove the back plate you don't want to just take it out really fast because basically what's going to happen is your everything is going to come out you just want to do it slowly while holding your finger back there so that you uh your, well again so your uh spring doesn't just go out flying and then just grab the lug push up and here goes your striker assembly so what i like to do is Put the firearm just like this and put the little plastic part back in here so that you can use that as leverage to pull down on the spring and take out the little cuffs. One of them already fell out. I have it right here. So I have them both and just let it go. And there goes your striker spring. So I'm just going to put that on the right side. And obviously, you know, just to put your... Uh, to replace it, you just literally put your new spring in there. Now you just pull that down and then install your little cuffs back in there. There goes the first one. And there goes the second one. And as you can see, it is assembled. So now you can just you know throw back throw that back inside. Um, actually, before you do that, you want to remove this one right here. 
which is your detent for the uh, safety plunger. To remove the safety plunger, you have to depress it. This little gold one, I have the titanium one. You want to push the plunger so that the extractor can come off. So you just want to push it, tilt it over to the side so that the extractor can come out and let go of the safety plunger and manually remove it. Okay, so there goes the safety plunger and the safety plunger spring that it comes with. So I'm going to remove that over there, replace it with the new spring, and then just put it everything back the way it was. Put your safety plunger back inside, then your your uh, your uh, extractor, then you put your detent back inside the little hole, and of course your striker. And then once everything is put back in place, you can just grab your back plate, start it off, grab your tool again, and press down on the striker, which is this black one right here. Push down until it uh, until you can push onto the back plate, which is there right now. And then you want to do the same thing with the detent for the safety plunger until, and then you want to just finish it until you hear a snap, which basically ensures that. Uh, the striker's back in its normal position. So those two springs are already replaced. So as of now, I can just put everything back together on the slide. The slide is completely done. Now we have to replace the, the uh, connector spring and the connector. And in order to do that, I have to get into the trigger assembly on here. So to remove, to remove all of that, you have to remove these three pins. The um, locking block, pin, the trigger pin, and this one in the back, which I'm not entirely sure what it's called, but it holds the housing to the back of the trigger. So what you want to do is just grab your little tool, put it on from right to left, and then you just push until it disappears, until it falls out, excuse me. Same thing with the other ones. You want to start with a little one on top, the locking block one, okay, and then your trigger pin, okay. And now that you have all three of your springs, I mean, uh, your pins out, all you have to do is grab this thing. This thing right here is your locking block. You just want to grab something and pry it out. And like I said, just pry it out. It should come out pretty easily. Okay. And then once that's done, there's nothing holding in the trigger assembly. Well, actually, you want to take out your extended slide catch or your slide release period and then your trigger assembly just comes out normally okay so this is your trigger assembly obviously this right here is your striker and right inside there if you can see is your your striker spring I mean not your striker your connector and your connector spring so in order to take this apart you want to push pull forward just like that forward and then twist it out and it just comes out naturally. Now, the first thing I'm gonna do is remove the striker. Or excuse me, I keep saying striker, but it's the connector. There's nothing holding it in, but, um, so you can just kind of like wiggle it out or grab a <laughs> screwdriver. And then just pry it out a little bit. See? And there goes your factory striker. And then just grab your new striker and then just put it in that little cavity and then just push in. Okay. You, just wanna, you don't want to put it all the way in. You just want to basically have it flush right here on the side. And then the, the striker spring I mean the uh, connector spring is pretty important so I like to just do it by halves basically remove this Sometimes, but there we go. So as you can see, it hooks on like that onto the 
uh, the bar right there. So you just grab your new one, put it on there, exactly the way it is on there, and then you just want to remove this one. Like I said, it can, uh, this can be pretty tricky at times. Okay. That goes back. And then you just want to, put, like I said, put it back exactly the way it goes. So I like going from the back to the front. Okay. Well, that one's in, but I lost it off the front, so I'm going to put that one back in. Okay, and now that we have it in here, you just want to put it the exact same way you want to pull forward, turn it, and then there you go. It is completely assembled now. So in order to put it back in, obviously it just goes back the exact same way. Just put it back inside. Slide it on, make sure everything's in there. And a good way to see is just to look through the holes and make sure everything's lined up. Now I like to start with the back like uh, with a little one in the back and just grab it and then put it in there just to basically just to make sure that it's actually um, locked in I guess you can say okay from this point you want to grab your locking block and slide that in there just like that and a good way to see this lined up is just to look through the holes again um, and from there you just want to grab your bottom your uh, bottom one and well, actually, I like to start off with the top one, to be honest, and then just put that on there. Okay. Mainly because there's nothing that blocks it from coming out or whatever. And then grab your slide release and put it right under that pin that you just put in there. Because the little spring, this little metal thing right here, goes right under there and it basically applies pressure onto there. So once you have that in there, you wanna look in there and make sure that there's nothing um, blocking it. And from right to left, you wanna put the bottom pin in and it is in there now and push it in, okay? And now both pins are in, well, actually all three pins are in and now everything should be good to go. So now you can just put it together And the trigger is extremely crisp, really crisp. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty awesome. I'm not gonna lie, this is gonna be a great competition pistol. Okay, well, I mean, that pretty much does it for this video. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hopefully you, I, I mean, it was a quick video, obviously, but I hope you get the general idea of how it is done. It is very simple to do, to be honest. Uh, don't get intimidated if you're gonna try it for your first time. It is very, very simple. Plus there's plenty of videos that actually show you up close in real good detail and everything like that. So uh, don't be don't be scared to try it. Just go and try it. Worst case scenario, you can just take it to a, to a gunsmith and they'll fix it for you. It's not gonna be broken, I promise. But uh, it is very simple to do. Um, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Till next time.